Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Ixion, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please do consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get this out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we continued to find, basically explore the system around us. We didn't hit any massive milestones, I felt. Um, we had plenty of exploration going on, we've got... A fair few resources still to mine, but I am getting worried about, you know, resources running out. Um, so let's do a quick scan, see what we can find. Because I do desperately want, you know, a near limitless supply of iron. Some science over there by the looks. Oh, there's something tucked around there. I don't know if the probe will make that, because it's nipping through the edge of that storm, but we'll give it a go. Uh, right, okay, and then let's set the timer going. So, we have been spending a fair amount of time trying to make sure we've got enough steel uh, to keep everything patched up, and that was part of our problem last episode, that the scientists we were sending out to explore various planets, places, uh, we're desperately going, can we have more steel, please? You know, the thing we're using to patch up the hull. Because I, I really don't like seeing it drop to minus. Because, yeah, this, we're just... It feels like the steel is going everywhere. And I don't think... Yeah, I have got this as a priority. I have got steel production going on. And I have got some building going on as well. Um... But it's just uh, trying to keep everything ticking over at the moment. So let's speed that up. There we go. Let's see the hull. The hull build just stops. Thank you very much. More warnings and bleak news. Okay, so the food's okay. Are that probe's still on its way. Oh yeah, the probe is going through. What do we have our miner? So our miner, our miner is set to mine a ton of iron. It claims there's a load of it still around. So that's fine. We've got two cargo ships going. That's okay. In fact, someone was talking about our ship loadout. So I've got three there. So that's two... Yeah, I've got three. I have got three. Oh, because you're set to sector one. Yeah, no, that's fine. Because that's bringing in the advanced resources that sector one can use straight away. That's fine. Oh, and what did you find back there? Silicon, carbon. Right, I think we can bring that down a priority at the moment. I just want to make sure we keep the iron going. Okay, where are our science ships? So you are here. What do we have going on here? A new request awaits your attention. We're no longer picking up signals from the Oxford. What? We lost the Oxford. Oh my god, I did not even know that was a thing that could happen. That's not good. Okay. Let me guess, they're unhappy. Said there was an event. What was the event? Ah, there we go. There we go. News of the Oxford's loss has spread through the station. Our exploration teams have a reputation for not only being the most well trained members of the crew, but also the best prepared. They're the mentors and role models for the people of the tycoon. Explorers whose courage surpasses fear and the loss of an entire team has done great damage. I bet. Yeah, I bet that's gone down like a lead balloon. Okay, well, let's get another science ship, because we're going to need one. Uh, so, yes, we are short on carbon by the looks. Okay. So we will need to get that miner trying to find some. So, probe, can you find me a nice, safe, I mean, that suggests there's already some there, doesn't it?
Where have we got some carbon? I mean, that says there's some there. Let's see what it does. <clears throat> we could be up for a bit of a risk if not. I mean, there is carbon here to pick up at least, which is fine. And we've got some up here, although that's all mined and ready to go. Okay. What are you bringing back, my friend? Good, you're dropping off some iron. Excellent, because then we can get some more steel being made. Yeah, we're really not keeping much of a stockade of... Uh, of steel. Or, sorry, of iron. The iron seems to disappear very, very quickly, and we're not keeping much spare. A probe has completed its scan. Oh good, what did you find? Okay, so you did actually find a chunk more stuff. Good. The team was able to survey one of the many crystalline cavities beneath the surface inside the gigantic geodes. Huge crystals are bathed in toxic and corrosive gases. That sounds pleasant. Despite the hazardous environmental conditions and disorientation caused by the cavity's kaleidoscopic nature, no incidents occurred. The team was able to draw new conclusions about subterranean nuclear activity and its impact on the formation of crystalline structures. Nice, so we've got a big chunk of science there. Okay. Uh, we can investigate that. You know, just keep looking. I still can't believe we lost a whole science ship like that. Just boom, out the blue, gone. Can't believe that. What have we got going on over here? We're bringing in more iron, which is good. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Hmm. That infirmary is looking pretty full. Team has completed a task. Good. Right. What did you find over here? After approaching the supposed location of troglodyte dwellings, they were revealed to be nothing more than an optical illusion. This effect was caused by light filtering through the fixed f thick fog. Okay, so there's nothing there. So you're just going to continue collecting that science. That lovely, lovely science. Speaking of which, science team, what are you guys up to? Nothing at the moment. Okay. Waste heat recovery. What's this? Power cost is reduced by two. That seems nice. we got here 39 now produces 10 iron now produces I mean that seems good why can't I get that the technology tier 3 is required to unlock this what tier am I on then oh okay so I need to get further okay uh, I kind of want to get this because if it's here it feels like the kind of thing that we're going to need just on the off chance that it happens. But. Yeah, considering last time. I think we do this. And then, yeah, I think we do that. And then we, can we queue that up? Queue that up. Okay. Okay. Because I just want to try and make sure that we can keep everyone safe. Right, okay, so then... We're going to need to sort out the waste. That's in theory what the fungus farm is for. The tech lab was disabled. Lovely. Okay, well you're doing okay. Come on, I really want you guys to get some people out. Because I really don't want to have to put a second hospital down. Because that's going to be very time consuming if we have to do that. Okay, that still looks like it's coming in. Yeah, because you're considered high priority. To give us hopefully something to do with the waste. 
Which does mean we're going to need another storage bit over here just to store the waste before we move it over. But I think we'll be okay with that. I think we can cope with finding somewhere for it. But at least we're keeping the hull integrity patched at the moment. Right, what else have we got going on? Haven't got a probe yet. Um, Ripley. Okay, you've got all the science out of there. Head over here, see what we've got going on here. And just, you know, keep all the science going. Uh, yeah, minus one from our... Yeah, our mortality. Oof. I'm really glad now I didn't promise that there were going to be, like, no deaths. Because that losing the whole science ship would have just scuppered that right from the word go. What I kind of wish is it gave you a bigger notification when the tech's done. Uh, and it kind of flashed at you like it does in um, Frostpunk. Kind of wish that happened. Okay, that's all the food being reset. Fine. You need some... What are they called? Some of these. Polymers. Yeah, that's what they're needing. Okay. Dropping off more iron. We are burning through that iron so quickly. I mean, at least thankfully there's still healthy amounts around. A science ship has arrived at its destination. That's the cargo ship over there. Okay, right. What have we got? So, summary of the intelligence from the Valiant 71 scans. The planet Valiant is dead and devoid of activity of any kind. However, our scans have located the remains of a ship in orbit. The wreck of the UN warship, Huizinga, I've probably butchered that, orbits Valiant 71. In a twist of fate, it seems that after hunting down Dola survivors, it fell to something even more dangerous than itself. We have a visual on a cluster of UN emergency cryoprods drifting towards the Valiant 71. If we don't intercede, they'll enter the planet's atmosphere and be incinerated. So, I kind of need the, I kind of want the bodies. So let's attempt to recover all of the cryopods, and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay. So you're up to 50 now in your construction. That's fine. That means we should hopefully keep this going. Good. Should be sending steel over to this side as well, which should speed up stuff over here. There it goes. Okay. So steel is stabilizing, which is good. Polymers. Why have we stopped on polymers at the moment? Oh, because you need five carbon. Here's a load of carbon. Lovely. Okay, come on Ripley, don't let me down. What? Attempting to retrieve the cryopods, the Ripley was hit by a telluric body orbiting at Valiant 71 at high speed to say, but the Ripley was then vaporized upon entering the Atlantis atmosphere. The crew was able to eject thanks to the emergency cryopods. Okay. Good thing we had those researched. Blimey, okay. So we've got no science ships at the moment then, which means we need to build another one of those. Uh, it's just resources I really don't want to do. Right. I'm so glad that I got that. That would have been upsetting to have lost those additional lives. Right, cargo ship. What does this do? They move 10% faster... More likely to endure dangerous weather conditions around here. I think that's a good thing to have. And then what do you have? Self-welding. More likely to endure. So do those two. Because I don't trust these guys not to be daft and fly through a storm. Okay. Let's keep that going. Okay. So now we've got no science ships at all, which is a real... Pain in the neck. Yeah, I feel like I want to try and stay here almost as long as I can. Because I don't want to rush out here. 
died too from injuries. Didn't get space in the hospital in time. Ah, Don't like it. Don't like it. Things are happening. Okay, Sector 1 is now specialised in food rank 1. So, I know we have these sector specialisations. How... Okay, you need some more workers. Because these guys are well covered. 200 to 176. So, yet we can move from sector 2 to sector 1. 10 workers. Okay. Get that all sorted. Yeah, the food's all set and stocked, ready for the next rotation, which is good. Ooh. Okay, so this now needs waste. So we need to designate waste. Unable to manage waste, the right policy has to be selected for the sector. Okay, so we've got this fungal wall, but it's currently not doing anything. An that looked massive! Uh, quick. Because that's the hospital. Get the hospital fixed. Population transfer complete. Okay. I don't understand why they're starving just because they've moved where they are. Or was it because they moved during a uh, feeding cycle? That could have done it, I suppose. Right. Have we got a science ship now? No, I thought we had one. Oh, it's because you're currently building it. So you've got your resources, you're currently building it. Okay, fine. Steel is going okay. We've got a little stockade of iron, which is good. What's this one coming back in with? Probably more iron, I guess. Yep, more iron, which is good. Okay, let's speed everything back up again. Didn't realise that had gone back down to normal speed. Be nice when this gets finished. Because I'm curious to see about this. These are the policies that we can put in place. Which means we will need to build one in the other uh, sector as well. Come on. There we go. Right, so that's now got all of its materials. Okay. So let's get one of those in here. can I put that? I mean, that kind of fits quite nicely there, but I've got no good way of putting a road in there. Um, but it doesn't fit brilliantly there. It does fit nicely there, so we'll do that, and you can have a road. There we go. Okay, that's going to use a chunk of our steel from here, but that's fine. It needs doing... Because then we can have a look and see what we're doing with these. Oh, is our science ship ready? It is. Excellent. Right. So there's nothing more to do there. So we need to head you up to here then. Okay. This I want to have a look at. What does this let us do? Okay. Oh, wow. Bounce straight up to happy. From local policy propaganda. <laughs> okay. Policies. Okay, so propaganda is normal. Food is normal. Okay. So you can do that. It's 
Corpses are turned into waste, but it minuses one stability. Oof. Why does recycling reduce stability by one? You will have to wait ten cycles before another policy can be set. Uh, yeah. I mean, that seems weird. Oh, propaganda intense. Okay, so I can increase the propaganda as well. Right, but now I can set this one to waste. Turn that on. You're now in extra hours because you need 196. How are you doing? So I can move another 10 workers over. Okay, set those going. So that then means you'll be on, yeah, and you'll go hopefully up okay. We're going to need to thaw out some more workers. So, not that one. Re no, not resource management, fleet management. Can you guys prioritise picking up some people? Because we're going to need some more of those people back. Okay, tech self-welding done. Okay, so we can now look at the tech again. What do we have? The Tycoon Hull. What can we research on the Hull? Needs tech tier 3. Okay. From impacts? Oh, that worries me. Moves 10% faster. Okay, so that speeds up how long we're going to be... Reduces how long we're powered down. Construction speed. Repair efficiency. That seems good. Because that means the steel that we've got goes further. And what have we got in here? Predictive modeling behavior policy cooldown is reduced by five cycles. So, fusion station. Yeah, I think, I do think the fire station will do that next. I think those will be our next two. I'm hoping, well, it'll probably be like city skylines, won't it? Where, as soon as you get the police station, you need the police station. But you don't need it huge amounts until you get to the point where you can unlock it. Right, so... You've got one waste, which is good. That's fine. I wonder if that... So that little symbol means we can use it because we've got the policy going. Okay. Okay. Good. Right, in here we are going to need... Another small stockpile. Where can I squeeze one? means the iron in here is going to slowly whittle away a bit, but <clears throat> well the steel will whittle away a bit but we've got stuff going on we don't have any more probes going at the moment but I think we're just going to have to deal with that yeah, I do want to start getting those people back it does mean we'll need to turn the uh this centre back on which requires 15 people and we don't have 15 spare people in here so that's going to be extra hours while some people are thawed out okay so you've got up here what have we got requires technology the colonisation training centre okay so there's nothing we can do until we've got that then which probably means the science ship isn't actually needed at the moment so I'm just going to take that away Because I haven't got anywhere else to investigate. Okay. So that tells us what our next tech is going to be. So you're currently on the tell them what we need. That's fine. And then you'll move on to the fire star. I wish you could queue up more than one. 
There we go. Well, that's very aggressive music for what we've got going on at the moment. Okay. So, okay. Oh, there we go. We can see this. Food production requires 10% less water. The buildings produce 30% more waste. Okay. Sector 2 doesn't have a specialization. Okay. Considering it's got these two big old foundries, I'd have thought that would have been the specialization. I'm thinking I need to work out a lot more on the layout because I think this is a very inefficient layout that I've got at the moment. Um, oh, I've got seven homeless in Sector 1. Blimey. I suppose I have been moving people in here, haven't I? There we go. Right, you've still got 12. That's sorted. We've got the steel sorted out. You're going to go in some maintenance. Okay. How many people do you need? You need 30 people. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more workers in here. Okay, so you've got that set up. You're now set up in here. So you can do waste recycling in here. And then... Where did we put that little... There it is. Right, you're doing waste. But... Sector 2 is managing waste, but it wants zero. Sector 1 is managing waste and wants max. So then the waste will be stored here temporarily, then moved to Sector 1, where Sector 1 can feed it to the Mushroom Wall. Which will help with our food stocks. Lovely. Right, policies. Let's do some intense propaganda to keep you guys happier. And how are you guys? You guys are fine, happy at the moment. That's okay. But then at least our waste is doing something. An accident has occurred in, the typhoon. in a farm. Okay. But that makes it less of an emergency now because we've still got another food source. Okay, things are getting slightly back under control. Okay, you're still 8% on the fire station. That's fine. Because we're short on science. Okay, do we have any more science we can hoover up from anywhere? No. And that needed that deep dive thing, didn't it? Uh, where are we? Science ship upgrades. Oh, which we've got. Okay. So, let's, seeing as we can't do that, let's send that there, because then it can do that one that needed the deep dive. Right, we've got another probe. What can we find out there? You're telling me there's a load of silicon there. Okay. Weird, because it's like I've already got a probe there. And I didn't find that before. A ton of water. That's telling me there's something mission critical around here somewhere. In the middle of the storm. Sure. I mean, it's only a probe. I'm not too worried about it. See what that finds. Okay, we've got plenty of steel going on, which is good. Good, we've maxed out the storage there. I'm hoping that waste storage will also stop these buildings closing down because we're going to be able to take the waste away from them instead of making them stop and purge it themselves. 
Right, what are you going to find? A planet. In the middle of this storm. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Ooh. I wonder what we'll do around that. But I think that's our time coming to the end there. So, yeah. I'd call that a disastrous episode. Other than the hull integrity, that seems to be fine now. But... Otherwise, uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They help the channel grow. They help get the series out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. And I will catch you all next time.